Global warming is not a planetary emergency. To create the illusion of a crisis, Al Gore repeatedly crosses the line between fact and fiction, science and speculation. There is no known way to make deep cuts in U.S. CO2 emissions over the next few decades without also making deep cuts in our economy. Banning new coal power plants means banning the most affordable source of new electric power. It could also create an energy crisis. Mandating a carbon-free electric system in 10 years years would fail dismally and set a world record for government waste. Energy rationing schemes would transfer trillions of dollars from consumers to special interests. Fuel economy mandates can kill by making the average car lighter, smaller, and therefore less safe in collisions. Biofuel mandates may actually increase CO2 emissions and, by inflating food prices, threaten the world's poorest people. Banning coal plants in China, India, and other emerging economies would trap millions of people in deadly poverty. Using proven methods to solve underlying problems that global warming might aggravate could save many more lives than Kyoto-type policies at far less expense. The best climate protection strategy for poor countries is rapid economic growth. On a personal note, I've been analyzing public policy in Washington, D.C. for more than 20 years. I have never seen an agenda so lacking in justification, with so great a power for mischief, captivate so many influential people the way this global warming agenda has. We're still at the baby steps of this agenda, yet already climate policies have increased world hunger, fueled deforestation, inflated energy prices, and enriched special interests at consumers' expense. The time to demand more reasonable policies from our leaders is now. Don't be another lemming walking off the cliff of policy peril. Save our prosperity, and we can really improve the state of the world.